Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs>
or he screwed them over somehow. The guy was really a loner. He really was. And uh, it, it was really sad. I think that that came out uh, in his personality in the documentary, that the guy is really sad. Was there something in the documentary that they didn't show that you might have wished they did show? Um, you know, I, I, we'd actually, I, we've been filming this for years. I, I know five years for sure. So you don't and even know there, really what, what it's going to be about or what's going on at certain No, days. no. I mean, there is so much that's unheard of. I mean... There's so much missing from it, so I think they were just saving a lot for more episodes is actually what I think is going on. Maybe that, uh, you know Eric Good, right? That's a dress. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's very possible. I mean, it's such a huge demand right now. That's a very possible scenario. I, I think he started it out as something about reptiles and snakes. Yeah, that's how it originally started, I think. And then, then he ran into this character named Joe Exotic, and it all just went downhill from there. He was provoked. I mean, you can see through the whole episodes that he was provoked to do this. He would have never went this far if somebody wouldn't have provoked him. Carol, what about the ex-husband? What are the, what are the thoughts on that? Um, you know, that's the story I've always heard, but you know, she's missing a husband before that too. So oh. uh, she has a really deep past. So there's some, there's some things that haven't come out in the episodes yet. And, uh, um, she's, she's in, what would you call it? Eccentric, I guess is what you call her. Sure. Other questions. Some people ask me to ask you questions, uh, on the, uh, songs. Was Joe singing that? It sounds, he's got a good voice if he does. No, that is not Joe singing. Oh, okay. So he's just saying. As, doing as Carol says, that is not Joe singing. We know so much more than that documentary showed. You know, Netflix whitewashed a lot of it, I think, because of legal exposure from something they can't prove. But you know, we have we have a lot more evidence against her that just wasn't shown. You don't you don't write a will that says in case of my death or disappearance. And if, if nothing else comes out of this, she's been exposed for the phony that she is. And you know, it's hopefully if if she wants to be the big Mother Teresa of big cats, why does she have to have her own collection in cages? You know, send those out to other sanctuaries and and go ahead and, and petition your politicians and your you know, your local representatives, and get it done that way. But don't, if you're going to lead by example, your example is putting big cats in cages. So I just, you know, I that's agree. the problem that we have sense. with Carol. Because it's either don't have them or do have them. Like, but she's exactly. doing the same thing. She's saying that she shouldn't. Now, exactly. you, it said you got sued. Was it for $70 million? Are you going to pay that all at once or do monthly I'm gonna, payments? I'm going to see if I can work that out on an installment plan. <laughs> you know, just like feed his commissary. Uh, is, that, is that from Joe? Is that he did it? Joe, I think it's 90, 94 or $97 million. He's suing he's suing the, the, the federal investigators who put him there. Yeah. He's suing us for the death of his mother, which we didn't even know she died until you know, two days after. So he's just delusional. You know, that's that's what we've dealt with. It's just his 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 personality is just so ridiculous. And and you know what? He almost normalizes insanity. You know, Tiger season two, I don't think everybody's asking if there's a season two. I don't know anybody, particularly Carol Baskin's going to want to cooperate with him now. But yeah. We'll see. I mean, yeah. maybe they have old footage. Now, I don't know about y'all, but that stuff about Carol Baskin is a little bit suspicious in my opinion. Right? Am I right? I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel down in the comments because this is going to be up for a whole discussion. In episode three, y'all get to see it's called The Secret. And y'all get to see a little bit of what... Carol Baskin's alleged little secret is. Now, that secret is allegedly, supposedly, that she, how can I say, uh, I'll just bleep it out, that she her husband because he just disappeared. But as y'all saw in those clips, when that John Ranke was talking, he said that she had another dude from before Don Lewis, which is her second husband that disappeared. She had another dude that disappeared. Now, I don't know because that's according to him, but I am very interested. So they open up this whole new case. I'll get into that in a little bit, but I'm really interested to see what comes out of this because now everybody knows all her business. A few people already did. But now it's like the whole world knows her business, girl. Another thing that they didn't include in the documentary is that Carol Baskin, after Don Lewis, her second husband, showed up, dis disappeared on everybody, she had another dude. And that dude, he filed a restraining order just like her husband did before he disappeared. And he, it was so similar. Uh, it was so similar. Like, I'm going to go ahead and post it right here so that y'all can see for yourself. You could pause it and read it, whatever you want to do. But um, I just thought it was really weird because if you got two people that are saying that Carol Baskin just went whatever, said whatever, and threatened to, you know, make them disappear, that's pretty, I mean, I don't know. What do y'all think about that? For me, 
It shows that there's a pattern of a behavior, but I don't know. And of course, all of that is allegedly. So one thing that I found interesting is that both of these restraining orders, they got denied. They didn't get approved. So I don't know if y'all remember from the documentary, but Carol Baskin's brother was a sheriff. Now, I don't know about y'all because, you know, I can only speculate, but it seems to me, in my opinion, that there's some tomfoolery going on there. I don't know. I may be wrong, but in my opinion, that's just my opinion, sums up. Because how are you going to have two men that basically file like a similar report and then they both get denied? And then not only that, but remember the documentary that... Uh, the one of the witnesses was one of the sheriffs that worked with the brother and all this kind of stuff. I don't know. To me, I feel like there's a whole lot, a whole lot of that went on over there. And maybe the brother helped Carol Baskin or some, I don't know, allegedly, I don't even know, but something just don't seem right. I don't know if it's just me, but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like I said, this is going to be Ooh, excuse me. This is going to be a whole discussion because I know that y'all are not shy to put stuff in the comments. So y'all let me know. Well, after the documentary was released, Miss Carol Baskin, y'all. Carol freaking Baskin. Oh my God. Uh, I still laugh every time I say that name, say it like that because I think about Joe Exotic when he would always say, well, you know who did this? It was Carol freaking Baskin. Anywho, um, since the documentary, Carol Baskin, y'all, she isn't happy with the series, a lot of things in the series that came out. Well, did you say series or doc documentary series? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anywho, she hasn't been happy. So what she did is your girl went on and she posted on her website a whole bunch of rebuttals. Now, I'm going to go ahead and post the video footage because I thought that I could just post screenshots, but it's a whole lot of information. So y'all could go ahead and y'all could freeze the video and y'all could read it or whatever. But she even included receipts, girl. She had receipts on there uh, linked up to all this kind of stuff and everything. I don't know. It's crazy. But y'all could go ahead and see for yourself right here. Now, there's this, while I was digging up dirt, y'all, that I came across this website, and it's called BCR Watch. And if y'all want, y'all could go ahead and look it up. It's bcrwatch.com, and you can look up all the stuff they found. Like, they're up to date on everything. So, I'm going to go ahead, and I have it bookmarked, and I'm going to be checking up on their website every day because... Now it's getting real interesting and tea is just spilling all over the place. So the tea that I found on there, hold on, let me take a little drink and drink because I my throat is dry. So the tea that I found on that little website is that since the documentary, the case of Don Lewis, Carol Baskin's second husband who disappeared has been re open y'all now i'm interested to see what comes up because i don't know but so, on that website bcr watch y'all could go check it out they have someone who claims that 
they know details about the disappearance of Don Lewis. Now, I don't know what it was, but they said that when Carol Baskin went on her little rant on her website or somewhere, I don't even know, y'all could go and read it, but they said that she actually confirmed some of the information that they were told by this Pam person, um, Pam or uh, I forget what her name is, but the, she actually confirmed information that was told by this person. So that has gone to the police. And now the police are investigating everything all over again. And so I don't know, but I'm, I'm wondering, Carol Baskin did say in one like rebuttal, she had said that uh, they could go and dig up her septic tank anytime that they want, as long as they could pay for it. But that, that BCR watch site says that she has since taken it down and posted the video foot, well, not the video footage, but she posted the rebuttals that you saw on the video footage that I provided for y'all. The leads coming in, are there any other significant updates uh, to this case that uh, that have cropped up since this series uh, debuted on Netflix? There, ha there hasn't been, and I, got, I have to tell you this, anyone who's watched this series sees how complicated and convoluted their lives are. Um, Don Lewis's life was no different from his business dealings, I should say shady business dealings down in Costa Rica, to having a girlfriend down there, to funneling money down there in small amounts, taking clothes down there for different individuals, uh, young individuals that upset parents with some of the um, sexual relationships he had there. I mean, it was extremely convoluted, uh, no different than, than in the series. Uh, the, the the entire case, but no, uh, it, it almost seems like our investigators at every turn encountered another obstacle. I mean, he had two security guards. And I'll give you an example. He had two security guards, both of them at the front gate of his property. They interview them separately. You have one saying, I haven't seen him in six months. You have another saying, I saw him last week. And these are two people, two individuals that work closely together. So extremely an extremely convoluted case the last dealings that we had were back in 2011 um, we did offer Carol uh, an, an opportunity to take a, a polygraph everyone else has agreed and she declined she said that her attorney told her it wouldn't vindicate her of anything so she declined to be interviewed before that it was the year before a detective revisited the case and was able to get DNA from his um, sons and daughters, which we helped, which helped us enter into a national database in case we ever have a DNA hit. So we've tried over the years, uh, from 23 years ago, to do everything we can possible. Like I said, it, to try to solve this case, and so far there just there's been there's been no evidence. Uh, and unfortunately, we weren't in, we weren't in this technological era that we are now. There was no GPS and cell phones, something that probably would have helped us solve this case uh, if it would have would have occurred now. So Sheriff Chris says that his microphone is not working, but he heard you mention Don Lewis on WFLA this morning. Is there any plan to review the will and check on the signatures on it or look at the document in any other way? And more generally, Will the sheriff's office be reviewing any part of evidence gathered in this case? Yeah, we have looked at the will uh, and, and we had an individual again that proved her allegiance and she said the, the will was legit. Uh, I have to tell you based on my experience and I'm sure all of you will scratch your head too. Have you ever crafted a will that said, if I go missing, give all my money to whoever that individual may be? So there's certainly some suspicion surrounding the will. Uh, and then one of the people who, testified that um, the, the, the will was certified and that she saw people sign the, the will. She changed her story later on um, at, at a later date. So there's a lot of suspicion that's, that surrounds the will. We did have some individuals look at the will, but again, there's just not enough evidence surrounding the will to dictate whether it was falsified or it wasn't. And, I, and, I, and I'm sorry, you have to repeat the second part of the question. Um, if we're going to reviewing any, any other part of the evidence gathered in this case. Yeah, we'll, we'll review a lot of the evidence. Um, um, we, we, we had a meeting again yesterday and sat down and, and we're brainstorming different pieces. Is there, is there something we're missing? Is there something that we could go back over? Uh, and they have 
three ring binders just stuffed with paperwork of what was done from 23 years ago until now. So we'll, we, we've asked our homicide section to review this. And if there's something that we need to revisit, whether it's sending some detectives back down to Costa Rica to talk to some of the people he was in business with, um, it, whatever the case may be, uh, DNA evidence, whatever the case may be, we'll certainly always open minded. If we if, if this series generates, hey, you should take a look at whatever the end of that sentence may be, we're absolutely going to revisit and take a look at it in hopes of solving this case. You know, my question is really, have you had a chance to uh, re-interview Carol? And what about giving her a polygraph test? Um, anything you could do about going back and kind of going over her story again? She She's uh, not really, I, can't, I don't want to say cooperating as much as she did, but um, as, as far as the uh, polygraph, she refused to take one. So we offered her that and she, she refused. Uh, matter of fact, she was the only person who refused to take a polygraph. But uh, I can't say she's been uncooperative by any means, but uh, certainly we we would be required to have some type of um, evidence, some type of missing piece before we were able to contact her attorney and probably have any, any positive results or any, any good fortune of trying to obtain another interview. Um, my question is, do you know why did the sheriff never attempt to do a DNA test on the meat grinder? That's one question. And the second one, does Carol Baskin's brother still works at the sheriff department? Well, that the, I'll answer the second one first. No, her, her brother uh, has been retired, I think, for like five, six, seven years. He's been retired for quite some time now. To answer your question about the meat grinders, everybody was bringing up the meat grinders, the meat grinders. The two meat grinders that they had on property that they used to feed all the lions and tigers had been removed several weeks before his disappearance. Now, I'm not saying they couldn't have took them to a different location and used them somewhere else, but the meat grinders had been removed from that location. So there was no ability to test them because they weren't on the property. Unfortunately, when someone's under criminal investigation, they don't have to be cooperative. That's their that's their right to plea the to plea the fifth. Um, again, I can't I can't even begin to describe how complicated this case was. Everyone everyone surrounding his disappearance had their own theory. Some people believe it was in a meat grinder, fed it to the tigers. Uh, some people said that uh, he disappeared. Um, or, or he was he was kidnapped and some people said he was killed in Costa Rica. Some people said it was his son that did it. Everyone had their own theory. Uh, and like I said, there even with all the theories, I think the detectives and the detective supervisors back then did a great job of of utilizing what they had to work with to make the determination that there's just no real charges or evidence to support any type of even probable cause leading to the arrest of any of the individuals surrounding his disappearance. And, and to date, that still holds true. We're hoping that changes the more people who watch this show. Dave's question is, there seemed to be speculation in the series that the sheriff's office didn't do a thorough investigation because Carol's brother worked for HGSO. What's your response to that? Yeah, that's just not the case. Uh, he had nothing to do with, with any of this. Uh, his only por part of all this is the night, the, the night before, I should say the day of, because it was three o'clock in the morning, Carol had went down to the Albertson, uh, a nearby grocery store, not too far away to get some milk for the cats. When, her, when she did, her car broke down. Her brother happened to be not too far away on a traffic stop uh, where he ended up arresting an individual. No, let me back up. It wasn't a traffic stop. He ended up arresting somebody on, on burglary charges. So he was busy that night. So we, we can't even, uh, we, can, we can, I guess, um, refute the fact that there's even suspicion that he was a part of it that night. But she went home after that, fell asleep till about 7, 7.30 in the morning. Uh, when she woke up, Don was already up saying, hey, listen, let's get the truck ready. I want to fill it with supplies and take it to Miami. The two of them were going to fly to Costa Rica. Um, he left, and that's the last time that she says she saw him. Uh, Jeff Patterson is asking, Carol claimed Don has flown off in a private plane. Was there any plane ever found to be missing? Is there anything to show that Don may have flown off? Another great question. 
Um, he didn't have – there were no records of him chartering a plane or being on any type of manifest going from here to Costa Rica or from Tampa going anywhere. Um, so that wasn't supported. He actually had two passports, and neither passport was flagged as him leaving the, the country anytime surrounding the date of his disappearance. You know, when you talk about a, a possible homicide, homicide or a missing persons case that's 23 years old – there's nothing more important to us than, than bringing justice to, to his family, his family who received no inheritance uh, from an individual who, uh, again, uh, fled. And I think that, again, that, that raises another uh, red flag of suspicion. You know, have you ever heard of a case where a wealthy individual fled for whatever the reason was and didn't take their money with them? Uh, did Carol give a reason why she declined the lie detector test? Did she reject the request directly or was it through her lawyers? She re she denied the request uh, directly and said that her attorney instructed her not to take a polygraph, that even if she passed a polygraph, it wouldn't vindicate her or uh, prohibit the sheriff's office from filing charges at a later date. So she declined to, to take the polygraph. Now y'all could go ahead and look into all of this on BCR Watch and on um, the, what is it called, bigcatrescue.org, which is Carol, ba or just Google Carol Baskin um, website and it'll come up and y'all could go ahead and look at her rebuttal over there. But since the documentary now, the case on Don Lewis has been reopened and I'm really interested because I want to know what happened to him. I mean, don't y'all? I, I want to know because for me, like that poor dude, either he was you know they say that there was some mob or whatever because he was doing stuff and like with money and all that in costa rica um he also had a girl allegedly in costa rica maybe he ran away with her because he ran off with carol baskin um when they first when he left his wife and his kids to be with carol baskin so maybe he left maybe he's off you know with his little you know fling over there in costa rica or somewhere else you know um i don't know but I would really like to see what comes of this because it's very, very interesting to me. And not only that, but I also want to see if there is going to be. My cat wants to come in here. Come here. My little tiger wanted to make an appearance. Come here. Say hi. This is my little tiger. Mm. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> He's like, leave me alone. <laughs> now, I'm really interested to see if there is going to be um, another season or set of series or whatever you call it. I know that they do have another, um, I guess, TV series that's coming out, which is I think is going to be very interesting. Joe Exotic wanted that girl. What is her name? Oh, my God. I forgot the name. But she's the girl who comes out on Wolf of Wall Street. Um, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's wife, he wants her to play him. So I thought that was interesting. And now David Spade in the interviews, when he was talking to everybody, he was asking them what, what, uh, actor or actress they would want to play them in the movie. So I don't know if there's going to be a movie, but if there is, that would be really freaking interesting. And honestly, I would want to see it because Poe, because watching all of this, I honestly, I've already watched it four times and I'm probably going to watch it tonight again because it is so interesting. Like you can't even write all of this up. It's so interesting. So I don't know about y'all, but I want to see a movie. I want to see a TV series. I want to see everything. But what do y'all think? Is there anything else that you know about that I didn't know about that I didn't cover in the video that you found out any new updates that I may have missed? If there is, let me know in the comments below because y'all have been really good at letting me know um, where to look at stuff and all that in my other videos. And thank you so much for watching. Um, we hit 5,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much. I really do appreciate it. And thank you to all of the new subscribers that are here. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. And please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, share the video if you liked it and also let me know what you think in the comments down below because I'm interested I don't know all these people were very very interesting to me so I'm interested because the documentary is still continuing in real life so I'm interested to see what comes of all of this I don't know if y'all are if maybe I'm just a weirdo and I just think that these people are interesting okay guys I will talk to y'all next video 
Bye, guys. Oh, my God. I need to shave my mustache. This quarantine is killing me. <laughs>